Over from the Eastern Conference, <laughs> from the Eastern Conference champion Florida Panthers, we have Alexander Barkov and Matthew Kachuk to take your questions. Please raise your hand and wait for the microphone. We'll start on the right side, second row, David. It's a lot to get to, I guess. But uh, Barkey, I'll start with you. Just been a long time waiting for some kind of trophy like this. Obviously, not the big one, but just what, what did it mean to, and especially with the way it ended, to to win this one tonight. And, it's, and do it at home. Yeah, it it's hard to explain right now. Everything just happened so quick, and uh, it it means a lot. It uh, definitely does. And to get to this point, you know how hard you need to work. And uh, like you see how many great teams we just beat in the in the playoffs, and so far, and uh, it hasn't been easy. And nobody said it's gonna be easy. So we we're really really happy for what what we just did. And but we obviously we all know like there's there's a another big series coming up soon, so we can't get too too high on this. Left side, third row, George. Matthew, can you walk us through that that goal with 4.9 seconds left, and and then Sasha, when you see that goal go through, what's the first thing that goes through your head? Yeah, I mean, I just I know that uh, I gave it to Rhino and. Uh, he shot it, and I think he just got a shoulder on it, went in the air. It was Barky. Uh, me and Benny were kind of like in the front. I was behind the net a little bit, and Barky had a great like fake where he he uh, froze everybody and and gave it to me. And I had just a ton of room and some time to to get across and, and put it in. So um, I don't think that you know a lot of a lot of people contributed on that, like Rhino to start it, Barky at the pass, Benny at the net. So it was it was fairly easy for me to just put it in. I, I wouldn't say it was easy, but uh, the the patience he had at the end, it's not too many guys have that. So, but we we can talk about that later. And yeah, obviously, uh, so that was probably the quickest you been skated. You skated <laughs> when you skated to the neutral zone. I couldn't catch you. So, but yeah, it was it was so loud. It was so so much excitement. It's hard to explain. It was great whatever minute that we were on the ice after that goal, it was unbelievable. Front left. Sasha, sorry to put you on the spot with him sitting right next to you, but I mean, you've gotten to really see the type of player Matthew is over the course of the season. I mean, how special of a player is he, especially in those big moments as you've seen throughout this series? Yeah, he's he's unbelievable. Uh, it's, it's hard to talk about the guy who sits right next to me, but uh, ever since, like, he he got here, like first message was, I, I thought it was like, we, we knew each other for 10 years. Like he, the way you talk to me and the way you get everyone, everyone like together in this organization and in this team and how we spend time like off ice and uh, it's just been like unreal, unreal addition. And like everyone, everyone sees what he's doing on the ice, but off ice is, it's been like eye opening how how great of a person he is and how he breeds hockey and everything around it every day and it's it's unreal. On the right side, Jameson. It's pretty nice there. It's, <laughs> it's a, I'm gonna start doing yeah, more of these yeah. with Bark next to me. <laughs> Matthew, uh, with the playoffs started, you kind of talked about how no one believed in the team except the guys in the room. Obviously now a lot of people believe in you guys, all of South Florida, the, the 20,000 fans in the building. Just what's it feel like to have the support you guys have now and just take us through that moment of just being in the center of the bowl yeah. when everything was going down? Well, we have tons of support now, but I still think not many people believe. I mean, like the people in this area support and believe in us, but to tell you the truth, there's, there's not many people out there that do still. And I, we know that we've played some really good teams so far in this playoffs, and we know that the next team is going to be unbelievable as well. Um, you know, more points, more wins, more whatever. Than, than we have. So um, kind of that similar feel of being the underdog and trying to prove people wrong again. And we know what we have in there. We know how to play. We know the right way to play. We know what makes us successful. And, and being in it with the guys and seeing the belief and seeing just the calmness to us is, is really something special. Like nothing rattles us. I mean, they score with three minutes left. You'd think that, you know, uh-oh, here we go. Like what's, what's going to happen? But it's like the opposite. It's... Uh, it's so fun to be around, and like it's just so fun being at the rink right now. It's it, 
you know, we got a few weeks left of this, and it's going to be, we talked about in the room, going to be the best few weeks of our lives, hopefully. So um, something that we're all really excited for. Left side, third row, Andrew. Uh, Sasha, what kind of pride do you have leading this team as a captain to the cup final and being the first Finnish captain in the cup final? Wow, I didn't know that. That's That means a lot, of course. Uh, it's hard to explain right now. I, I know it just happened, and uh, but it feels great right now. Uh, I'm not going to lie. And... Uh, Maybe maybe later after the season or after the career, I'll probably like understand what what really happened. But uh, it's a, I don't know what to say. Like it's it's not just like me leading him, leading everyone in our our room, like Stahl's brothers, everyone like Bob. Uh, those guys are the leaders as well, and uh, like with them, it's it's so much easier and so much more fun to to play and to to come to the rink like you said to come to the rink every day is so much fun take a few more questions front right mike uh, matthew uh you have you know two overtime winners a goal with 4.3 seconds left in regulation to put you guys in the finals you've always had this gift for drama but i mean are you even amazed at what you've achieved uh this series what's this whole ride been like and uh also, I talked to your dad today. Is it true that you kind of put him into a timeout in terms of doing media? Yeah, I, I, that is true. He's in. Uh, he's still in timeout till uh, hopefully uh, for a few more weeks. If, you know, when, when, when we win, but uh, he. Uh, I don't know. The ride's been unreal. Like I'm. It's not like anything's changed with our team. Like each game is a one goal game. Um, our power play's gotten us a few this series, and I mean, I'm just surrounded by so many great players that make it uh, just super, super easy for me. And um, I'm, I feel like just so lucky. And uh, just being here, being with this team, it's it's been unbelievable since July when I got here. And uh, you know, hopefully, I can cap off uh, this amazing year in the next few weeks. And we'll take two more questions. Front left. Chuck, you play with the tenacity like no other. And even after the cup check, um, you seem to come back out and handle your business. Just talk about that tenacity that kind of rubs off on the other guys as well, because it seems like they're playing with that same fire that you bring out there each and every day. I, th I think we have to. I think that's what makes us successful and will make us successful going forward. It's, it's not about, well, I mean, I guess it is about winning games. But you know, in these series, it's, it's about, you know, we saw it with the Boston series. Is, being able to wear a team down and physicality and, and our team's four checks really are is really solid and we've got a bunch of speed up front and a bunch of heavy players that can play that way. So um no, I'm definitely not the only guy that's playing like that. I think we have twelve forwards that play that way. And that that's what adds up in the series. Like in, in the Boston series it, it maybe didn't show till in, in overtime a game seven, but that's that's where you can wear teams down and um you know there's there's so many moments that you can look at that Different different people stepped up. I mean, you know, hope hope uh, Slavin's okay. Like Benny hit, but like that's that's the type of hockey that is needed to be played at this time of year. Like just good, hard, physical on the forecheck and just through guys and and you know, I think Benny's probably the best at it on our team, and I think that's who we follow. Last question on the left side, standing up for both of you. You guys didn't seem to hesitate in touching the trophy, picking it up. What was it like to? Take it around, skate it around, carry it around today. Yeah. I mean, I I think that we're the type of team like <laughs> the last thing that we're gonna do is be superstitious about not touching it or anything. Like, I mean, nobody said we were gonna make playoffs, so I don't know. I think it's pretty cool to to touch it and carry it around and take pictures with it. Like, we earned that thing, and definitely didn't do it the easy way. So. Um, I don't know. I thought it was we earned it. And I feel like if you're blocking shots, taking hits, and doing whatever it takes to win a trophy like that, you might as well enjoy it. Thank you for your time, guys. Thank you so much.